For this week's video, I wanted to do this little box that I found on Amazon, and it is to make your own mini erasers. Now, I thought this was really, really cute, and I really wanted to see if it actually works, because the erasers are made out of clay, and you're supposed to bake them, and you're supposed to actually be able to actually really erase with these. So we're going to get into this right here for this week's video. Um, obviously, all the supplies come in the box. I'm attached to the back of the box is a book, construction book, that tells you how to use the supplies that they give you. And you can make all these little cute little racers in here and I'm excited to get started. First we're going to go over what is in this box. As you see on the back, look at how cute they are. I just absolutely love that. They're so cute. Anyway, we're going to see what's in here. Okay. What's this? Right here is little cardboard um, little things that you can Put your set your erasers in like there's a pizza box um macaroon box they're all really cool and there's even a house and a suitcase this looks really really neat and they even have this right here for like crayon like stuff which is really cool and that's just to display your your creations in if you buy following the book and of course we get this nice little pencil and it's got a little happy face on it it's so cute i'm only going to use this sculpting tool to make the actual racers because i do have a lot of sculpting tools in my art supplies but i'm only going to use this one because this is the only one they give you so i want to show you can use just this to sculpt your little erasers with this clay and of course you get all this clay and all these colors with it and of course you can blend them in this book you can see all kinds of erasers you can make they even show you how to they give you you can read the techniques to actually do the different types of molding and everything like that and they show you how to use your sculpting tool and they even show you how you can blend colors to make certain colors and they even give you ideas you can make a bracelet rings um charms that is a really cool idea And, of course, they show you exact amount of clay that you need. You can do little balls and everything like that. Um, what I'm going to be starting off with is this one right here. Because, as an artist, I just think that is too cute. And I just really, really want to do this. This is the one I'm going to be doing in the book for you. And, in the spirit of Thanksgiving, because I don't have it in the book. In the spirit of Thanksgiving, I am going to actually be making a turkey one for you to show you that you don't have to just follow what's in the book you can actually create your own so let's get started i'm going to start this project right here and of course what this says is to roll clay balls in these sizes and colors so we're going to follow directions on this one and then we're going to attempt to do a turkey one and it's always good to mix it up and soften it because when it comes, normally when you mess with clay, it comes hard and to really get it to work the way you want it to, you just keep pushing it back and forth until it really softens up. You don't warm up the clay, it, you will not get any, it won't work. <laughs> Let me tell you, it won't work. It will crumble apart as you're putting it together and you will not like it one bit. Now that I have the clay ready for this project, I'm going to do everything it tells me to. And the first thing it says is to roll this palette into an oval and flatten it. And it says nudge, but we got, we got flat. 
like that. That's cute. All right. Now it says nudge the middle to make a wonky kidney bean shape. So just I don't know if you could see that, but we're just going to press in one side, kind of do that and kind of flatten it back out. Okay, so in there, I got that shape right there. And it says, use the pointed end of the tool to make a thumb hole at the end. So we're going to press in the middle. Oh, come up with it. <gasps> Look, made a little hole. Yay. Okay, and then it says, flatten the paints. So we're going to take our five little paints. Ah, where are you going? We're going to take our five little paints and we're just going to flatten them. Flatten. 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 Okay, they don't mean to get much instruction after that, so my guess is then you just put them on there. Okay, so now I have a paint palette. Do they look the same? I don't know. Not really. <laughs> and I think I needed more than what is showing here. Because when I was flattening the heck out of that. I think the balls were too much and I flattened the heck out of that. But it's still, it's a cute little racer. Now we're going to do a turkey. Right here is about what I want to blend for the color of the turkey because I want that color right there. So I'm going to take, like I said, I'm going to use this book somewhat to figure out how to do this turkey. But I'm telling you right now, it's not going to be perfect. Now that we have this all nice and mixed, and we got this a good brown color, it's a little bit darker than I wanted, but it'll do. Um, I want to pinch up just a little bit for the head. And of course, we know turkeys, fat bodies. And we're going to roll, 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 fat body. So we can stick that on there. And then we got the head right here. Uniformed. Now that, like I said, this is mine doing, so I'm not just, they have you just sticking them on there. To me, that, I think they would fall apart, honestly, just sticking it on there and hoping that after you bake it, it stays together. If you need to inherit it more, like really get it on there. As you can see, I'm hoping this is kind of like a I'm hoping that this is kind of bird shape. Just want a little bit of this color. I think about do about six feathers and all. Now that I have all these, I got six balls of clay. For the feathers, what I want to do is I want to smash it down. I'm going to shape it. Well, actually, let's roll it like this. This is how we're going to do it. Roll it to this long thing. And then press it down. Okay. Get our sculpting tool. And we're just going to kind of put a point on the end. Of the feather okay, I want to put a point on the other end but we not as sharp and then you're going to do that with all these as you can see I got six little feathers to go on the back of him as you can see now we have our turkey feathers on the back of our turkey the start of his eyeballs now we want to put some little black dots in those. Now he has eyeballs. Look how cute that looks. And look at that. Couple, 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 couple. Okay. 
have no idea if turkeys have this on their head. I don't care. Because <laughs> this is my cute little turkey. And I think it's cute. I'm already loving him. It's a cute little turkey. Gobble, 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 gobble. That is like the cutest little turkey. That is so adorable. Okay, I'm going to make some more stuff with the rest of the clay. Now that all the clay has been made into small little racers, we want to bake them. And we're going to bake them at 250 degrees for 30 minutes and always follow direction when you are baking your clay. All right, as you can see, they are all nice and baked. And I even made the little cardboard cutouts that you um, get when you get with the kit. Like here is a little suitcase and I have my little palette on there and you can see he is cute. I put a little smiley face on him and I did a witch's hat and for my oldest son I actually did this he loves Sonic and I thought this was a cute little hedgehog for him and then my other son he loves rocket ships and his favorite colors are red and pink and I thought he would love to have that at the end of his pencil so this one and this one are for my sons. The rest of them is for me to play around and enjoy. Um, here is our little turkey. Gobble, gobble, gobble. You can see he is so freaking cute. Just absolutely love him. And then in here, I got this little bird. And you can stick him on the end of a pencil. But also kind of shaped him where he could stick. Um, he was supposed to be able to stick on the end of the pencil, but ended up being too big. So he actually sticks on this little marker and sits up there and like a perch. And that is kind of cute. Now he's a little messed up because I had a little problem sculpting him, but that's how he turned out. So it is what it is. And we got him in the little shoe box that came with. And then, of course, I scuffed a pencil, which I thought was really, really cute. And then, um, I ran out of time, and I needed to do something with the extra clay, because I, there was no way I was going to have time to get back to playing with this set. So, I did my name, and I did these little wedges. Now for the ultimate test is now that we got these cute little erasers all sculpted, baked, and they're not as solid as I thought they'd be. They're more like squishy and gum-like, but they keep their, they hold their shape. Um, we're going to write something on a piece of paper and see if these actually work and actually erase. And let's see how well this actually erases. As you can see, um, it doesn't erase it quite away. So the best for these erasers, if you're going to use these as erasers, is to, um, if you're writing something down and you need to erase it real quick, just to give your space and write something else again, then I would recommend them. But if you're doing an actual drawing, um, and artwork, I wouldn't recommend them using them because they don't erase the line completely. That's what these are good for. Plus they are cute and they can make your little pencil collection look adorable. If you enjoyed this video, just like and comment down below and share and don't forget to subscribe for more.